Hi guys, the Houdini digital set I'll introduce is Golf Course Generator. At the beginning, the existing set map box is used for landscape, so we can choose the location anywhere on the earth, such as Alps, Grand Canyon, or Table Mountain, which I chose. Then you can change the scale. Default is real scale, you can clip the area, the unit is square meter, or you can rescale terrain here if you don't need real scale. Now we need to do little constructions such as height, noise, or blur terrain. You can visualize and control each of them. Before we go to courses, there are a few rules in golf course design. The number of courses are always 18, front 9, back 9. The first and the last of each 9 courses has to be close to the clubhouse. Also, there are 4 par 3, 10 par 4, 4 par 5, and each par has to be in specific length and width. Each course has essential elements such as fairway, green, bunker, hazard, or teeing ground. And there are 5 different sp starting points maximum by distance to hole cup. You can change the distance between the course and the terrain or course scale. Now let's start with the angle. When we see actual golf course, most courses tend to follow the slope of the terrain. This also gives you the best angle for entire courses by calculating the slope of the terrain. But if you like to have a specific angle, you can change it manually. Then you can set up each element such as fairway, green, bunker, hedger, teen ground, clubhouse, or textures including hue, saturation, and value scale and shift. Also, most courses are generally designed from current green goes to the next team ground, and the rows are connected to each other so they work less, and so is this asset. If there are obstacles on the road such as hazard, the asset recognizes them, then the asset creates other way beside obstacles to avoid collisions. The set is designed to respond accordingly with any terrain, courses, or hazard as real golf courses never collide each other. So if you change setup, they respond and change their set procedurally. Let's keep going to background. When you actually play the game, you may not need the end of the terrain. But if we cut this part, we will lose them. So if you bake background, then we will still have them as an image. Once you bake background, it's matched at the exact position unless you change related parameters. You can change how far or how high you want to bake, depends on how much you need. Now let's go through scatter on background the trees. If you turn on fast view preview, you can adjust tons of them way faster. There are weight options at each geometry so you can change the ratio. Default number is optimized to cover the terrain by full of trees with minimum numbers so you can save your time. But you also have full control of scattering so it's up to you. Then you can set up for export. I personally use terrain mesh wrap node in game development toolset. In this asset, you can split terrain and texture as a tile as much you want. And adaptive density saves terrain data but keeps detail on the mesh. Finally, you can enjoy this wizard on game engines or DCC tools. Thanks so much.